Really pleased to say that. Why don't we get some more insight into this? John Galliarghi, Regional Vice President over at Fidelity Investments. John, such a pleasure to have you here on this program. Why? Why sort of this Dow outperformance and the cyclical nature that we see? Well, we're looking at it through the long-term lens, and it's not just been the last four weeks where the Dow has been outperforming, but even at the lows, the NASDAQ 100 bottomed out around 35% lower. The S&P 500 gave us about 28%, whereas the Dow was only down about 23% to the lows. So that outperformance on the downside, as well as the last four weeks, it's really exploded more towards the upside than the other two indexes. We've talked a lot about some of the technicals in this market. Uh, an S&P 500 that recoups a 50-day moving average. What are the technicals within the Dow as you see recouping some of the weekly averages? So a uh, weekly moving average I like to use, which is kind of rare, I like to use a three-year moving average. Uh, most, uh, most big firms believe that there is a five-year business cycle. And every five-year business cycle, you will get three good years and two bad years. Or three and a half, one and a half. And if you look at this particular chart, you'll notice that we pulled back to that three-year moving average, we rallied through, and then we did tippy-toe through it on the Dow. But comparing that to the S&P or the NASDAQ on the same chart, the Dow looks like it's fared much better than the other two. And then we could start to think about how to get invested for 2023. How do you do that? Do you have a trade? So there's two ways of looking at this. Uh, we could always use uh, an ETF like the IA in order to get the ETF representing the Dow. And that's trading at around 3.30 uh, per share today. Or we could look at the options market. And in the options market, especially if you're someone like myself that you're getting paid in uh, December or January as a bonus, and you're looking to do a trade there, we're looking at the January 3.30s. And the January 3.30s are trading around $14.55 today. So you're roughly paying about 4%. Now, to be fair, if you're buying the ETF outright, you've got unlimited time to be right. And there's a huge benefit to that. But if you're someone that is waiting on this and you, uh, you're you waiting on assets coming in and you can't do that today, using the option is one easy way to get there. However, if you get the direction wrong between now and the third Friday of January, you could lose 100%. So. This is something you do have to weigh out whenever you're looking at options. Well said. Thank you for joining us and for your perspective. John Galliari, Fidelity Investments, and for joining us for Options Insight today.